Hi there, everybody. You're watching Bourbon Battles. My name's Joe. We've got a fun one for you today, guys. Everybody's heard about the Elijah Craig Barrel Proofs. These guys right here. That's right, guys. Elijah Craig Barrel Proof. Hey, you heard about it. You know it. You know what everybody's saying about this one right here, the C923. Is it the whiskey of the year? I don't know about that. Is it the best Elijah Craig Barrel Proof of 2023? I don't know about that either. So we're going to get into it. We're going to drink a blind, and we're going to tell you what we think about these coming right at you. Okay, let's get these out of the way a little bit here. If you've watched us before, then you will know we like to drink everything blind. And if you don't know why we like to drink it blind, it's because we don't give a rat's ass what's on the label. We just like good whiskey. We just want to know what tastes good. It doesn't have to cost a lot of money. Now, all these come in from that 70 to... 90 some dollar price point. They go for a little bit more on secondary sometimes. So here's how we set this up. I've got an envelope here that tells me what's what. And three sample bottles labeled one, two, three. Have no idea what order they're in. So one, two, and three. Get into these, taste through them, tell you a little bit what we think about it. See which one's the best. So if you watch a lot of YouTube, you know that there's a lot of talk going on about the 923 bottle. This guy right here, I think. No, that's A. Yep, 923. There's a lot of people saying this is the best whiskey of the year, top five whiskey of the year, all those things. But there's also a laser etched code on the back. Mine says A222. Some of those different codes people are saying are better whiskeys and they're, it's a batch product. So different batches, better. I don't know. Um, from what I'm hearing, the one I have is not, it's supposed to be the one that's not very good. Uh, Chad reviewed this blind and didn't get raving reviews. So let's see what we think. Try to keep some order here. I'm going to pop it up on the screen which one I'm tasting as we go through these. Yeah, fantastic nose on this one. You can definitely get all that ethanol. These are all 133, 124. Yeah, so 124 to 133 proof. Eleven. This one doesn't have the age on it. The A one twenty three. Hmm. Interesting. So the A is twelve years old. The B is eleven years old, and the C is thirteen years and seven months, being the oldest. Definitely got that Kentucky hug and that barrel proof hug to it. And there on the finish, I get a lot of uh, fruitiness. Different notes, same notes, different note, different things shine through greater on this number two here. You guys see what it is. A little sharper, just a little different in general, and I'll go back and forth with these a few times. Sometimes I talk about a tasting note of Sharpies or Dusty Books. That's pretty prevalent in, in that one right there, number two. Try number three. That is the easiest to drink, I think, so far, number three. like I'm not going to have enough there. 
go back through these again. The same notes are in all of them. They just come through more dominant, more prevalent, different notes and different expressions. The funny thing is I don't get a lot of peanut, which I typically get in Heaven Hill product. Number two is much better the second time around, I think. It does taste the highest proof, I believe, of all of them. So in theory, that would be the C. Hmm. This is tough. Let me know in the comments what you would pick. And while I'm working through this, I want to talk about something really quick. Kind of took me by surprise. The Staven Thief Society, staventhief.com offers these bourbon steward courses, right? Anywhere from 50 bucks to 500 bucks, uh, whatever you choose. You get sensory kits. Do yourself a favor and go look at that website. You see it there on the screen. Uh, and if you use discount code BBB, Bourbon Battles Blind 15, you get 15% off that executive bourbon steward course. And I was floored. I got a call from these guys the other day. We've had a lot of people sign up using that discount code. So that's fantastic. I really appreciate that. Everybody that did that helps us out. Um, it's going to help your bourbon journey out. Let me know in the comments if you've taken that class because you found it here because I just kind of would like to know what you think about it. Or if you found it somewhere else, I'd be curious to see what you think about it. I think I'm ready. Man, one and three are so hard to tell apart. I think I've got my order. So I'm going to go with my least favorite of all three came in with number three. Um, I know that, but I'm going to go back and forth between one and two here a little bit. I think I know where I'm at. Gosh, it's so hard. These are all so close. These are all great values for what they cost, I think. The winner, and then the other would be the second place. The winner is number two. Second place is number one. So let's see. Before, yeah, let's see what we see. And then as we go through these, we'll uh, tell you a little bit about each, each of these. Okay, so in third place, which was number three, is the B523. B523 coming to you at 124.2 proof. It's the lowest proof of all three. It's 11 years and five months old, also being the youngest. Lowest proof and the youngest comes in last place. Very interesting. And I'd like to know, too, what, what any of you might think about, you know, the different months these things are pulled and batched up, if that has a determination because they spend the last part of their life in a barrel, right, uh, in a certain season. I, I'd be real curious what you think about this because these are coming out in, like this is coming out in, uh, in the fifth month, January, February, March, April, May. Good job, Joe. May. So like, is that, is September different than May? That's different than January. If it comes out in the winter, does that make a difference? Because where it's kind of stopped, I'd be curious to see how that works. And, you know, traditionally the C, the last of the year has always kind of been everybody's favorite that I read, which is a September one. So last place, B523. Again, these come from Heaven Hill. Heaven Hill is down there in Kentucky. If you've not been to Heaven Hill, I really think you should get there. They make some of my favorite whiskey in the world, Old Fitz. The Old Fitz decanters are out of this world. They're absolutely fantastic. They make Larceny, hey, Old Fitz Prime, a $12, $14 bottle, whatever they cost these days. Larceny Barrel Proof, as you know, has gotten a ton of 
accolades this year. Uh, we need to get some more of that so we can try a couple different things as well on that. Do something like this. Uh, Evan Williams, one of my favorite whiskeys, right? If you're not drinking it. If you don't have Evan Williams bottom bond, I don't even know if you really like whiskey, right? Um, it's that good. Uh, that lineup is great among many, many others, right? Some of the JW Dan, uh, different things that are lower level whiskeys. Heaven Hill Bottled and Bond, what a great whiskey. So check out Heaven Hill, go to that distillery, the Elijah Craig's, all the Elijah Craig stuff is good, right? The Toasted Barrel's pretty good for what it is. Um, I've been drinking it quite a bit lately because I ended up with several bottles. This barrel proof stuff is good. Uh, my favorite barrel proof stuff typically is stuff like this, these private barrel. You guys know how I feel about store picks. This one is actually from a place in Lafayette, Indiana. And this, this bottle, this particular one, which is uh, 139.5, nearly hazmat, has gotten a lot of national attention. It's very good. It's very, very, very hot. You know, so these things are out there. Um, I recently got one from... Washington, D.C., I believe, that is probably my favorite one of all the Elijah Craig uh, barrel-proof stuff I've gotten. So check those out. At a, under sub $100, they're great deals. Don't, don't, don't not think it's true. And hopefully wherever you're buying your barrel store picks, your barrel selects like this, that you try it before you buy it, which is even better. So I'll skip second place because it'll tell us when we figure out who the winner is. And the winner, which really, really surprises me, I didn't think this would happen. The winner is the C923. This is what everybody's picking as one of the best whiskeys of the year. I don't think it's anywhere near that. Um, I picked it over these two, so that says something. Uh, we'll go to the A123, tell you a little bit about it before we tell you about the C. A123, which is what I picked last, number one, is 125.6 proof. It is 12 years old, and of course, all this is non-chill filtered. It's a batched product, which we talked about the codes on the back. You know, you don't have to go down and do a whole lot of studying to see what people think about those codes right now. Um, I don't know. Like I said, mine is an A22, I believe. A lot of people are saying that's the one that's not as good. The A23 is so much better. I'd like to try that and prove it out, right? So without any further ado, the winner, which is not my whiskey of the year, it is a good whiskey, but it is the C923, 13 years, 7 months old, 133 proof. It's just good. Guys, you got to like the higher proof stuff to enjoy this. If you do, I encourage you to try these. You should have these in your collection. As well as all the Elijah Craig products, especially like the small batch. It's one of the best drinking, you know, Less expensive bottles out there. Hey, drinking bourbon is supposed to be fun. Do it with your friends. Do it blind like this. Do what I did. Have your wife make you up one of these. And have no idea. You'll be surprised what you find out. You'll be surprised what you like when you don't know what's on the label. Hey, see you next time. Let me know what you want to see. And don't forget, don't drink and drive. If you drink, don't drive to the watermelon crumb.